You apologize? No, don't be mad. You are just... You're helping the stream find an Aura's deck and build it. Hmm. Fuck. Now I have to find this deck. Alright. Um, Selesnia Aura's did do well in the last RC. Plus Razor Verge Thicket. Yo, what's up, man? Hope you're having a good one, my friend. I did play Gruel earlier, and I went 4-1, so that's how it'd be. Oh, someone did play Auras recently. Pop to convert 9 news for the uh, cost to it. Fair enough. So should I play just white green or should I splash blue? Do I think the extra consistent is worth fewer threats? Yeah, I think so. I think like I didn't really miss having Sukenzen or Den of the Bugbear. Being able to cast all of your spells on curve was great. No blue mana but one aqueous form? What about staggering insight? Is that just like kinda of dog shit? Two lair? Second lair I could see. But I think I wouldn't cut Poseidon. I like having basics for Field of Ruin. Because people fucking love to field. Field of Ruin still. Oh, you have three lair. I see. Uh, I don't know. It's like kind of close. Paradise Druid. Paradise Druid. It seems like the better builds of the stack play Paradise Druid as another like pseudo bogle. But you have to give it, like, Vigilance somehow. Not for Warren's escape. GG Hexproofer? Alright. I think what this means is I should just build my own version and try to figure it out, right? Is the most likely thing. Right. Slesnia Auras. Fast land. Right. Alright, we'll just we'll just refigure it out, I guess. Just fine. Brennan? I haven't seen Brennan's deck actually, but if you want to link it, I'll be happy to take a look at it because I don't know even where to start. Really. I do know what I basically want in the mana base, which is max white green lands. Oh, the list at top for Atlanta was his? Okay. Well, cool. I'll find it then. I think I can find it pretty easily, actually. Alright, I have found it. God, I wish I didn't have to play Branch Loth Pathway. Maybe I don't, actually. Maybe that's the secret sauce. You don't have to play Branch Lots Pathway. Yeah, I, I found it. It was not that difficult to find. Maybe it's just like these 19 lands and 3 mana confluence and just have perfect mana. But I think you want some more basics because of Field of Ruin. I'm just paranoid about Field of Ruin because I fucking loathe it when the Zorius players get away with that shit. Like two basics. I'm not even convinced you should, but it's just white blue. Yeah, but I don't want Azorius Wizards to get one up on me. They don't deserve it. 
They don't deserve it. Sara. Tower Archer. White paws. Uh, I think it's crazy not to play Force Ram, though. I guess I will be switching that. I will play with Force Ram, because I think it's crazy not to play all of your engine cards. Tell me I'm wrong. You can't. You won't. And one generous visitor. Gantha is a companion. Alright, let's see what auras are in the deck. Audacity. Ethereal armor. Oh, maybe I don't play Gigantha. How how good is Gigantha in the deck? Like, I'm not sure it's a deal breaker, but we should reconsider that. Good point, though. We'll think about it while we're building the deck. I mean, the rest of the deck is mostly unaffected, I think. GG is better than Pan. I could buy that as well, like... I'm not terribly sold on Gigantha in a 19 win deck that has no mana acceleration, you know? Three, all that glitters. Griff Spoon. There's a bunch of rainbow auras. Maybe I have to play like Confluence over those to cast the uh, rainbow auras. I'll give you a hint there's a Hammer Hand and an Alpha or a uh, Kai's Ghost Form. So, should I play more Mana Confluences to play those cards? I don't know. Like, if I knew I was never going to draw them... Basic Forest... Makes sense. And then I'll, I'll insert another Confluence. Okay. Alpha Authority, I think, is actually pretty good in the deck. Rune of Sustenance. Yeah, Aqueous Form... Is Aqueous Form better than Hammerhand? I don't know. I should think about that. Or Briar Bossing is definitely correct. Wait, so I'm missing... That's right, there's only two Grip Spoon. Two mana confluence. Alright, aqueous form? Yeah, I'll play aqueous form over it. I don't know which one's better, obviously. But. It kills you. Aqueous form does seem potentially better, honestly. 
Maybe that was just like an overlooking or something. Portable hole. Sideboard extraction specialist is kind of a banger. To natural state. To a Danto Vanguard. Is there a card I can play that's good versus combo in this deck? Or is my plan to just try to kill them? Procedure who endures. I don't know. It's kind of hard to figure out, I suppose. Um, another rune and another Warbriar war Blessing? Warbriar Blessing. Say that ten times fast. You can't. You can't. Trust me, it's... Do I really want these rest in peace? I guess I do. Maybe I just want like three rest in peace. Chat. Is there a way to beat Lotus besides just trying to goldfish? Will goldfishing beat them on average? Does silence stop Lotus? You mean deafening silence or regular silence? I'm kind of suspect of these rest in peace. I don't think rest in peace is actually that good versus Lotus Field, even though like people always bring it up because of Leer. I think a lot of the time they don't even have to go through Leer to kill you. Uh, silence, if well-timed, does stop them. Like, if you silence them with an ultimatum on the stock, they dead end. Is silence better than deafening silence, though? I guess deafening silence they can kill with Buseju or Ottawara is the counterpoint. But deafening silence has synergy. Oh, no, deafening silence actually kind of ruins you. Maybe I'll just play three silence, then. Yeah, I just realized you can't play Deafening Silence in this deck. Stonebrain? I don't... Like, your 19 land deck, play and activate Stonebrain before they do it is, like, kind of clunky. So I think, like, that's kind of off the table. You're, like, a 19 land deck. And it doesn't really, like, synergize with your other plan, really. Alright, I'll just play Silence. I'll try Silence. I'm down for it. Well, Brainstone's not legal. So, good try. Where is... M10? M10 the OG? I think so. Alright, prediction up, chat. If you want to gamble on this league... Those were the wrong ones. But that's fine. It will just say it doesn't have them again, which is fine.
This deck is 77 tickets to rent. It's actually dirt cheap. Kind of crazy. This Pioneer really is like the cheapest format to play. That's not really a knock against it, it's just an observation, you know? What's my favorite magic card of all time? Um... Probably Rashadenport, but it's not terribly good in Legacy. How much... How much is, uh... It without Poseidon? I'm not sure. Probably, like, 50 if I had to guess. Like, obviously Poseidon is a non-zero amount contributing to the cost. Where's the duck? Duck. I saved it. I really need to, like, sit down and delete all the decks at some point, but that's okay. That's where Pioneer is right now, fair enough. Can someone let me know if the deck updated? But we will head into a league in a few seconds with this. There's still a gamble up. John costs more than Legacy decks. Something like that. Alright. Let's go, chat. Let's try to bogle some people out. There's only, like, two actual bogles in the deck. Thirteen active players. In ten years, there will be a new non-rotating format called Discoverer starting at Kaldheim. Maybe I don't know. Who can say what's going to happen, when, or why, or where? Looks like a keep. I don't have an actual bogle, but I have two engine cards. If this is a mulligan, I want a different deck. Lotus Field. Okay. Great. This might kill them, I guess. That's like the hope. Being on the draw in this matchup also seems quite poor for me. Also, like the danger is Ugin post board is kind of in kind of bananas. Like, I don't really foresee how I could ever beat an Ugin, you know?
So because they had Grazer, they can potentially kill on four, which is kind of scary, but I don't know what else I can do about it, really. Just probably not much. I guess I can try to two-shot them and hope it's good enough. two cards. Alright, well... So if I get Sentinel's Eyes, it's plus three. Is there anything better to get? I guess not. So I just get Sentinel's Eyes. White Paws is really good though, like, just need one more turn, if I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm not gonna worry about it. I have a Blast Zone beat, I think, even if they like tutor up a Blast Zone, they can kill all my ones, but then I can just like cast all that glitters and go get Audacity, I think is probably lethal. But it looks like I'm gonna die instead, probably. Imagine losing the die roll. Imagine losing the die roll. Skill issue? Yeah, I'm not skilled enough. I didn't renew my premium, actually. Need to renew my premium. Nope, I'm dead. Find the creature. So that probably means omniscience is in their hand. Doesn't really matter what I do, I'm like dead a thousand ways, so. I guess maybe. Maybe they somehow mess up, I don't know. It's like impossible for them to mess up here, really. Did not mess up. Yeah, you can just petition for a Leer. It honestly did not matter what I gave them. Oh, actually, they did miss stack. You're supposed to put a petition on the bottom of the stack and then behold on top of it. 
Never mind. They did actually slightly mess up. It's not going to remotely matter because you can just get Weir and it's lethal, lethal anyways. Like, you just get Weir two strings and that's lethal. Wait. Maybe I have a chance? He discarded the Weir, chat. Question mark? Question mark? Any Lotus Field experts? Any Lotus Field experts want to tell me how I'm still dead? And that it doesn't matter whatsoever? What happens if I just bin the Balagad, then they have Nishin start petition one card? And if I give them Balagad, they can get the Weir back? Well, I don't think it matters still. Because, like, I think what you can do is just play Omniscience Dark Petition for. Balagid recovery and Balagid back the Weir, then it's trivial. They got Behold the Beyond, okay. I mean, I assume that should also work. If that doesn't work, then I don't even know what's going on anymore. I'm just here for the ride, chat. I'm just here for the ride. Just here for the ride. for mine. Alright. 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 Yeah, like, it didn't really matter what they did. I was just mega dead. Right. We can side that out. We can side that out. We can side that out. It would still be one shard. Okay, I mean, I'm not gonna worry about it one or the other, really. I did basically everything I could, which is I cast all my spells on turn three and hope they were dead. Uh, I think probably I can sideboard out one Bizarre Tower Archer. No, I think like, I basically made the decisions I could make, and it would kill on turn 4, but I needed to kill on turn 3, which was not possible. Right? Light Paws did, like, an incredible amount of work, but it just wasn't enough. Right. Some in. Don't know what I wanted to set this on, and I know I want to play Brushland. I 
I hope I draw two more one drop enchantments. They topped. Probably a bad sign for me. That's not good. What's up, Harry? Hope you're having a good one. The life doesn't matter, so you retain optionality, Shnada. I don't think your life matters versus Lotus Field, so you get, you retain the option by holding the land. That's basically my reasoning here. I don't think your life actually ever matters versus Lotus Field, like, basically ever. I mean, I guess it theoretically could, but it would involve like Sakama or Ugin, but you always lose to Ugin anyways, so that doesn't really matter. So I need, like, basically one more aura to, like, kind of try to lock it up. What's up, Jamie? Hope you're having a good one. My opponent keeps on tapping Black Lotus, Jamie. Do you think that's unfair or fair? memeing a little bit because it's obviously not the same as Black Lotus, but what is fair really? Yeah, that's a great question. No one truly knows what fair is or isn't. So earlier I showed up to Onrock stream and helped him 3-0 a new set draft. We drafted a sick Jund Oil deck. Oh my god, am I getting killed on turn 3? That's pretty lucky. It's like so hard to kill on turn 3. The stack. I'll get through someone's crying. Okay, they did. They wasted a bunch of stuff. Okay, I guess they got me. It's 12, then this will be 3 next turn, so that looks like that's a check mark. Kinda sucks to show them to silence, but it's just safer to do this. Upkeep chant you. Orm's chant is one of my favorite co favorite cards. I guess I have to show Bryant this. I'm a monster, I guess. Quiet. Quiet. Shh. Quiet. 
chat quiet. Alright, keep this hand's fucking excellent, like Riot? No, I said quiet! Didn't say riot, Jamie. Come on. Come on, Jamie. Come on. Ugh. <laughs> Let the late pause go. Color of no fun? I thought blue was the color of no fun. I guess it depends on how you ask. All the fun's for me, fair enough. So, I could silence them again next turn. I don't know if I'm going to. I might actually just let them try to kill me, but... How much can I even attack them for? It's not that much. If I drew another armor, it would be a lot. Let's see, so I could cast this, get Ethereal Armor, that would be 2, plus 2, that would be 6. This could get, this would be plus 2, plus another. Well, the question is, if I play... Well, the problem is, if I put all the ores on Light Paws and they just have Lin Ottawara, it doesn't work, right? So that's what I'm actually thinking about. But maybe I can't really avoid that anyways. Right. I think I actually can't avoid that, so I think that's fine. I will silence them, because I think it's just safer. So if they have natural Ottawara, they live. Cartouche Audacity. No, because if you already have an aura with that name, you can't go tutor it. Right? Wait. Um. Wait, but that's not even lethal, right? Audacity for armor, which is what I did. Okay, if I cartouche for Audacity first... No, it's still not lethal, so... Hmm. It'd be one more point, okay. I guess I could have dealt one more. Silence is kind of a toxic card, though. Ultimately, I think the silences are what mattered, so shout out to whoever suggested it. Was it you, Sman? 
I think it was man. The walkie! It's the walkie! Fuck. 100% he's Rakdos. I wish I had one more land. I don't think I can keep though. Like, I would keep this one in bottom first. Sounds pretty good though. Right. Oh, it's Kahira, it's not Rakdos. Alright, classic, classic Jabberwocks. This one's okay to get countered, because I have another one. That's where his charm cycled. Classic matchup, Azorius control versus Boogles. But unfortunately, I don't have a way to like not get obliterated by Wrath. Um... Fuck. How are we supposed to just bite the bullet versus Wrath? This also, I think, is a matchup where Silence is pretty good. Because all you want is one turn where they can't Wrath you. Okay, they absorbed it. Sure. Oh, they had a tap land, that's why... They... Okay. Well... Do I ever beat Wrath regardless? I think the answer is probably not, honestly. I mean, if if I get verdicted, I get verdicted. I knew what I was signing up for. It's not a huge deal. I'm gonna get Audacity. It's the best card versus Verdict in this scenario. Nine thousand percent Verdict. Of course. Fucking called it, chat. Oh my god, he has March? <sighs> Get two verdicts. I think Sir Chang for Ghost Form doesn't do that much, no. Especially since I have another White Paws in my hand, right? That's why I don't think it makes that much sense. Alright, I'm rooting to draw Mana Confluence now, which is kind of funny. It was Unfania, it's the latest unset. J Ford. Uh like it had like space basic lands and like space shock lands. Oh, I am so dead. I am so dead. Is that the third draw? On the draw, but is Logan qualified? 
Can't remember. The answer's probably yes, honestly. He's such a beast. Oh my god, chat! OMG! The fucking mana confluence. Uh, booster box of hunting? I don't know. Remember when I was complaining about fucking, uh... Whatchamacallit? Guild of Ruin? I feel justified in my complaints, chat. I do not want... I think we kind of just have to get lucky. Ninety? It just came out? Okay. Maybe. Milling Deluge and something else. God damn it. You're not supposed to do that! Fuck. I think my life total might matter this game, honestly. They... Wait! I don't know, it's a dig. Fuck, multiple digs. Alright, I'm unfathomably dead here. I know, I, I knew you were going to say that. What are we doing here, man? Uh, just It's just science. There's really not a better answer than that. It's just science. This has to be rock bottom? I don't think this is rock bottom. It's just science. Fuck. I would not. That's just like your prerogative. <laughs> Pro concede. Uh. Oh, I probably want these Adanto Vanguards actually. Um. Okay, maybe I don't even bother with the silences then. See ya, buddy. Maybe I'll have two. It's probably good enough. If I could guarantee I could just, like, have lethal and then cast silence, I would... Alright, so if I draw a land, this hand's pretty good, so I should keep... What value for X? Uh, I don't know. It would probably have to be like... Twenty K, probably? But I don't think it'll hit that high. It's probably like 20k, yeah.
Yo, Honorog, thanks for the raid. I didn't draw a land, but that's fine. Might kill Logan with silence at some point. Really need to draw a land, though. Get my SRAM. Okay, it's not too late. You have to have verdict. If you don't, you die. If you do, you probably live. No oh, verdict. This plays around Cyclehold Shark Typhoon because it gives trample. Alright, game three! Chat! Game three versus the mighty Logan Nettles! One of the MTGO players I respect the most. Alright, we're gonna have the third silence in, I think. I'm just cut, like... Highway a Tower Archer. This is just kinda clunky. Also, those of you coming from On Rock Channel, we're playing Pioneer with Fastlands, which changed the format. If you are new here and you want to support the stream, hit that follow button, that's free to do. And thanks for being here. I might get back to Legacy in a few weeks, just not right now. Uh, no, Mental Missteps number one. Fuck. This hand sucks. And it's fine. Actually, great question, XJ. Is this an XJ deck or not? I need to know the answer. I played Gruel earlier. Light Pause is the shit. I agree with you. Light Pause is a fucking banger. All of my creatures are super annoying, except for Light Pause. Light Pause is the one that dies the most. Alright. Let's see. What should I run into his thing? I'll wait this one. This is like the least relevant. This one gets censored. I don't really care. Cycle, irrigated farmland. Is it time to play some of Danto Vanguards? Hell yeah. Ah, oh, fuck, I got got. Okay, though. I'm still gonna play Vanguard out. So I would like to note, Logan's ahead of time versus me. And that's like so few people. Marched? Sure. I need to get more water soon though. I'm kind of dehydrating out. Right. I guess I'll hit for one first and then play another Vanguard. Yo, Jabber, thanks for the raid, my friend. Hope you had a good stream. Back-to-back -back raids, huh? I 
I think in Jab Jabber's eyes, my opponent is the hero and I am the villain, though. <laughs> That's okay. You know? You can't always be the hero in your own story. Sometimes you can be the hero, but sometimes you're the villain. Yeah, I mean, Razor Verge Thicket is a big pickup, and Mana Confluence lets you cast Kai's Ghost Form in Aqueous Form, so I think those are relevant. Whoa. What the fuck does that mean? Means I'll do this, though. I'm still gonna kill the Teferi, just killing- not killing Teferi is ridiculous. But yeah, Mana Confluence casting the off-color Aqueous form and Kai's Ghost form I have has already come up twice tonight. And I think it's kind of just a big deal in general. So that's like representing a 3-3. I think I'm just gonna cast my shit. Deluge. Okay. So, you might be looking for March White Card, with, which can take out White Paws in response. Or is it, I'm going to put in an Audacity on White Paws, probably. I think it's Audacity, because then if I get Wrath, at least I get a card out of it, right? I wish I had a second. Oh no, I couldn't even get Kai's Ghost Form. So, I guess it's Audacity. And hope. I mean, he doesn't have a wrath. I'm in good shape, but. Oh my god, fuck me! Ugh, that's brutal. Holy fuck, I got destroyed right there. Uh... Doesn't even look like we're playing the same format, really. Alright. Fucking temporary lockdown plus verdict. Nothing temporary about that one, that's for sure. I did not cite in my natural state. Alright. Oh, he had verdict, verdict, lockdown. So I'm kind of dead now. I have one Boseju in my deck. Alright. I'm ready for... I'm ready to be dead to flashback Deluge, honestly. Alright. It kind of feels like his build is way better versus me. <laughs> God, that was a fucking brutal sequence of cards. Need to be put Loris in hand. Well, that. Yes. Loris would make my deck better, that is true. I mean, he's already used, like, three sweepers. How many can he have left? Don't actually answer that question, anyone. No one answer it. Just don't answer it. Oh. Just, is it just shark time? It's shark time. So I'm gonna die in two attacks. Hmm. Alright. Normally I wouldn't say GG's to random opponent, but Hook and I go way back, and he just beat the shit out of me. Oh, I drew Brushland. What if I drew Brushland? Alright, I'm gonna take a quick three-minute break. 
Uh, be right back for match number three. But thanks for being here. If you want to support the stream, following is good to do so. Hit that follow button is good to do so and it's free. If you really want to support the stream, consider being a Twitch Prime sub. There are awesome emotes such as Jarvis Clap. I just need to take a quick three minutes and I'll be right back. Thanks for being here. All right, I'm back. You're dead for the trophy, but that's okay. We had some nice games for Slogan. Anyone have any comments about the deck so far? Any concerns? Comments or concerns? You think? I almost thought that said Sir Jarvis, but it says Sir Jav is in PA. All the comments. Right, uh, this sounds pretty good, like... Some lack of indomitable creativity. I think I need to win more die rolls. When Poon's going to four, is it Lotus Field? I mean, not to complain, I did lose all of the die rolls so far, but in the Girl League, I won all of the die rolls. Like, I'm literally asking. Also, this deck fun? 
It's not fun for everyone. Jason was like not thrilled about it. Jason Ford. Oh, it's Green Devil, I guess. How is this matchup for Bogles, you think? It's probably just like very volatile if I had to guess, right? What difference Pioneer from Explorer? Um, I'm not the right person to ask that. <laughs> Green with Bogles once ever. I see. So if I lose, I will be setting a record, is what you're saying. Uh, I drew not enough auras, though, so that's kind of a problem. I hope I draw another one drop or an next turn. You think this is better versus green than versus mono blue? Or mono Bogos is better versus green than mono blue is? Interesting. I would not have guessed that personally, but I guess like the way the cards line up, it doesn't really work out favorably for you, right? Is the issue? Okay. I guess it's time for Hmm, where do I put this? Maybe it's here and just get Aqueous form actually to scry? I think that's actually probably the answer. I'm just looking for auras, so I'm gonna... Well, not that one. Aqueous Form seems incredible in this matchup, honestly. They have two cards in hand. One card in hand now. They'll have access to one, two, three, four, five next turn. Well, I'm not blocking. My always feel it doesn't actually matter, I think. That's not the best, but I think I will offer this trade. I'm fine with that trade, but I'm not fine trading the generous visitor because I think that produces too much power, actually. I will keep that one. So I think I have them dead next turn, most likely, but I didn't actually work it out. Probably play Audacity on this and go get Hero Armor for that. I guess if they play a Cav, it's better for me to... Okay, so it's just Audacity on this, that's five. And then the Ethereal Armor is lethal on this, and then put the counters on this as well. Actually, remember when we tested this deck in Historic or whatever? It was Historic, right? I think it was Historic. Probably don't need Redundant Hexproof, guys. I had to guess. Maybe like two? Maybe like six total, because I don't expect them to die. I want portable hold to just slow them down. It counts for all that glitters at least. 
The Grim Sun seems kind of useless. Uh, maybe it's like... This. I don't think I actually want Silence, because I think there's too many turns where I actually have to do the thing. Like, Silence them, rather. I don't really want to ch touch the other auras, but I think Rune of Sustenance doesn't matter most of the time. Just submit. Okay, well, not keep. I can keep this one. Yeah, cap bricks all of blues creatures. I guess that makes sense, yeah. Probably gonna go all in on this, this game, which is fine. I'm very painful mana base this game, but it's fine. I guess this might be a game where rune actually matters. Probably not, though. I'm gonna go Sram Cartouche to get off base form. Kai's Ghost Form? Oh, I could have sided out Kai's Ghost Form. Um, it's probably not great, honestly. Yeah, I could have seen siding out the Kai's Ghost Form. To be fair. I think this is a case of where I want to get Audacity this turn, and the next turn I'll want to get the, the Ghost Form. So I think Griff Spoon gets Ethereal Armor. All that glitters gets audacity, and that's probably lethal. This is pod racing, chat. This is pod racing. What? Do they have a fight spell? Can't imagine this one one does anything ever. What's up, B Raj? Alright, I guess I'll see if they're dead. I not really feel like I get much by waiting. Ah, uh, Razor Ridge Thicket coming to bite me in the butt. Attack for 23. I know it's awesome. Um, I mean, I'm just trying Dexter Science. This is like a pretty obvious deck to build once you have Raz Razor Ridge Thicket. You know. 
allowed you to wand them out of the game. It's pretty hard for wand to be good enough versus deck. I guess, like, wand would have actually been good this game. They happen to be at 15, so this doesn't really work. Like, I'm showing 17 damage. Alright, I guess that was a bunch of turn 4 kills versus Green Devu on the draw. Alright, we are 2 1. Was a close match. Well, I guess it wasn't that close. Jared Rocky kind of dis dismantled me, but that's how it be sometimes. How it be sometimes, chat. <clears throat> Another Azorius control on it. I actually hope they're not Azorius control, but the sand's actually sort of fine versus it. I can just like load this up and hit them for a bunch. They'll wrath me, I'll draw two cards. I don't know. Like it doesn't work out great, but it's it sort of functions at least. Oh. Okay. This is not as always control. Probably better for me, because that's probably a fatal push. And Bogles are good for spot removal. So they're about to get fucked, I think. It's probably some, like, nonsensical Demir deck. So I want to play around, make Disappear as best as possible. So I'm just going to play all my one-drop spells this turn. Seven. You got my token. Remember when they shocked in their thing? Pepperidge Farm. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Dead. Can't believe they fucking countered my Kai's ghost form. Got him, chat. Got him. I was on the play and I just killed him on turn four. Rune seems useless. Rune Spitzer also seems bad. I don't really understand countersawing that, no. Like, it seems kind of mind-boggling to me, personally. Dento Vanguard. Probably, like... Silence is okay, but not insane. Could cut, like... Mind-boggling. Mind-boggling? Mind-boggling? We'll have three silence in our deck again. Don't think Generous Visitor is very good versus them, it's like kind of just bad. Keep. This hand's like pretty great. They're at five cards. I think like that's the other nice thing about playing this deck. People feel inclined to like mole hard versus you.
Mm, actually, I would rather they counter this one with Sensor. They have a counter. No counter. No push. They would have pushed it end step. Like, you can basically write off push, because they would have pushed your thing last turn. Kai's Ghost Form is obviously excellent here. Okay. What do I do? I'll just attack first and play Bizarre Tower Archer. They extinction event me, it's not that bad. So yeah, this is fine. And if they don't have a sweeper, they're basically kind of just dying quickly. Bottom both? Sure. I think this is lethal. I'd be shocked if it's not. It is in fact mega lethal. Kai's Ghost Form has been very, very, very good so far. Alright, turn 5 through a Shadow's Verdict. Wow, I fucking, like, farmed those last two people real fast. Um, alright, so we're playing for the 4 1 again. Again, thanks for everyone being here. I think this is probably going to be the last match for the night. If you want to support the stream, you know how. Following is greatly appreciated. Twitch Prime subs, if you have one, are free to use. Use one it use it somewhere once per month. The deck looks best. I think there's probably promise here, but I just it's like kind of a boring deck to play, obviously, but I think like the mana improved so the deck got better. Also, this is what the people wanted when they voted in the poll after I played Gruul earlier to 4 1 as well. The mana got better. There's four Razor Verge Thickets. And we have max, like, we have 16 green-white duels. You know. Tinker underscore deck. Alright, well, they're Yorion. My hand is garbage, so I will Morgan. Um, 
This is fine on six, but not amazing, obviously. Good before and just better now. Yeah, it's definitely better now. Like, the mana was definitely holding him back. Is it just another... Azorius Yorion player? I guess so. Yorion Azorius control. Right, time for this one. That's a good draw. But I don't want to play a deportable hole without getting something out of it. We cut the Paradise... Well, someone suggested cutting Paradise Druid for uh, Basara Tower Archer now that your mana can support it. And I'm not sure which is better, honestly, but it makes sense, at least, you know. This is not the best card in the matchup, honestly, but that's okay. This plays the best for Shark Typhoon, which I think is a reasonable card to expect for them to have right here. I don't love their fucking absorbs. Motorcycle. It's fine. This is not a great card. Maybe I should be citing this card out more, actually. It's, like, not very good here. This is the... Actually, this is probably one of the best ones to put on White Paws, right? That's why it exists. That's good. If they have verdict, I kind of get got, but I can't really do anything about it now. I think I just have to play my stuff. I mean, I have plenty of creatures behind, so like, who the fuck cares? I don't think like adding a Glade Cover Scout or a Bizarre Tower Archer changes anything. They marching my audacity. Oh, they cycle Shark Typhoon for zero. Peculiar. Okay. I mean, Yorian makes it less likely for them to have Supreme Verdict, at least. So that's what's going on here. It's fine. I don't think they have Verdict, so I can probably play something out. So attacking puts them to 7. I'm just gonna play this out and this out. Even if they verdict me, it's not that bad. And I think it's kind of clear they don't have verdict because they would have verdicted last turn. Like they would have verdicted away the uh 
the light pause plus the tower archer plus an audacity. So you might as well just play your shit out. So they could have cycled Shark Typhoon. But I can't really do anything about it. Probably should just attack them and force them to have it. They've already used one. They can't Wandering Emperor any of my shit except as a blocker, which is fine. It looks like Wandering Emperor, which is fine. This will kill Sram and take five, go to two. I'll play another Basara Tower Archer. I mean, I still do not believe that they actually have Verdict in hand. I guess I'll just cycle that for two cards, actually. Hmm. Sentinel size? It's a good draw. Sort of. If I draw a land, it's a pretty good draw. Alright. Well, a good draw, because I think, like, this turn, if they have Wrath or not, matters a lot. Basically, nothing else matters. Damn. What's this? You're in the hand, okay. Yeah, I've played against a fuck ton of Azorius control the last few weeks, which is kind of funny. I'd rather put the guy's ghost form on this because it makes it super annoying for them. They can like play the other pump spells on that at least. goes here. Sounds like Batman. It is Batman. I remember this Batman game for Nintendo. Alright, one game one. Move your feet, feet. Move your feet to the feet. Anto Vanguard, probably. I want silence. Voltage? Is that a word? What's the one thing I did to improve at magic? Um, slow down like five seconds on every play is the biggest like value over replacement, I think. Did we were talking? No. Oh, I cut it for. I cut Paradise Druid for Basara Tower Archer at the very beginning because I have a million green white duels now. So that was like the discussion, but. You could convince me that Paradise Druid is still better, I don't know. Like, I don't feel strongly. Stalling gives you a pretty big edge. Uh, 
Well, Marcus, that's like kind of a weird way of putting it. Because I would not describe myself as a staller, but I guess most stallers wouldn't, so... Actually, that was just kind of aggressive. Hmm, I don't know. That was very aggressive for you to say that. I hope you're sorry. Okay, at least if you admit you're joking, well, I don't know. I don't really care anymore. You say whatever you want. Yeah, jokes, but they aren't funny. Question mark. What a hint. Oh, yeah. I will be keeping this one. I will be shipping Branch Lots Pathway. Then I will hope my opponent dies to SRAM. And if they don't, well, it sucks. Inara, do you have do you have an opinion on Paradise Druid? I don't think Jacantha is like a critical card to miss in your 19 land deck, personally. I will be casting this every time here and hoping they don't have it. You don't have it. You don't have it. You don't have it. Oh yeah, they didn't fucking have it. Oh man, the sea. You're playing limited? Miglov Maze Crusher? Yeah, it's a pretty good one. No, 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 don't do it. Fuck, they did it, chat. Oil counters are really good on uh, my glove. I'm basically dead this game, I think. It's gonna be very difficult. Right. Well, maybe not. Question mark, no counters. No counters? Let's talk about that one. Hmm. No land is a lit little bit meh there. We have another march? I hope not. Deluge is not good for me either. Oh, EOT Impulse, thanks for the resub. Let me know if I should open a chest for you after this. Sag. That is sad. Chest, please. All right, I will after this this match. And if you all want to, want to be as close cool EOT impulse, you know how. Let's get some Jarvis claps in chat for the impulse. But only EOT. Main phase impulse. We we don't vibe with that shit here. So you go and not actually commit another aura this turn. It's kind of funny to think about.
Three mana, four, four with 17 and Bodies describes way too many cards. Does it really? My curse is a fucking describe. Why is it crush mazes? Who knows? My life total does not matter, and I would like to play around Wandering Emperor with Vigilance. So let me see if I get to do that, opponent. Yes, I don't. That's very sad. Fucking Wandering Emperor. Alright, I don't want to wait around. I think I lose if I wait, so I'm just gonna jam now. I didn't side in the silences this time. Maybe I should have, actually. But we'll see if you're dead. If you have Wandering Emperor, I lose. That's fine. Otherwise, you go 2-2. Two, two. And then you have to have... A very specific set of cards. That card is much better than Big Nox, I agree. There's also Bloated Contaminator, which is also obviously kind of unreasonable. Because if you hit them, they get the poison counter, then you, like, give them a second poison counter. They're kind of like, WTF, mate. Do they have it, chat? Have it. I don't even get a card because it's exiled. It doesn't hit the graveyard. They probably have something for this, but... I'm not going to pass into Absorb because that's that shit's game losing. Nice. This plays around Wandering Emperor. Did they just draw March? They still have two deluges, so I'm probably going to lose to that shit. They had fucking Wandering Emperor the entire time, chat. I fucking knew it. I knew it. Yeah, no, I, I know, but it's like, whatever. It's fine. Bring this down as an L for this game, probably. But maybe I can get lucky and they can draw poorly enough. Although they left one card on top, that that's going to be difficult. my one forest. This is why I wanted to play a basic because of Field of Ruin, really. 
I think it's just too debilitating not to play one basic, although... I kind of wonder if you want a second in some regards, but who can say? Not a big deal. Uh, I think so because of Basara Tower Archer. It's like kind of a wash, I think, but I, my instinct is force is slightly better. You can look at the deck list on the extension. Extension? Like, there should be something on the like left on your computer. So you can flicker those two and make another samurai. I don't really have enough lands to draw out of this either. Like, and because I cut Rune of Sustenance, game three I'll be on the play. Probably side and silence on the play. To be fair. Uh, actually, maybe Vanguard is worse than Tower Archer. Kind of weird. I don't really understand the Vanguards, but they were there before. Maybe they're more for Rakdos, actually. But March cleanly answering it is kind of a problem. All right. That's fine. asked me about playing Coco in there, and they responded there's like 14 creatures. I don't think it's a great idea. I'd rather sneak the next proof creature under Counter Magic. We'll see what happens, though. Oh okay, yeah, I can play the Sram this turn and put Audacity on my other thing. That's pretty good. Absolutely fine. Classic Dovin's Veto chat. I think I'm going to play it out actually. I think it's actually okay to play one of these out. And this basically prices them into having Verdict. If they don't, they're like going to die. Even if they have Verdict, we have like Light Paws, all that glitters, which is a pretty good um, follow up. So it looks like Absorb, probably, which is fine. So I'm fine with this. And, like, they have to have Verdict at a minimum. If they don't, like, I think it's just way too bad for them.
one and get Kaya's Ghost Form to play around a Sweeper. Did I side out Aqueous Form? I don't think I did. Did not. Good. Nice Lyra Dawnbringer. I don't think this is like how I would approach it. Maybe they just have so many bad cards that they need to side that one in. Caracol, yeah, Caracol would, well, here in this specific scenario, I think the Lyra was vaguely better, but I think they're both, like, kind of not, probably the card you actually want in this scenario is, like, Elspeth Sun's Champion, if I had to guess, but they don't even have, like, six lands, like, I don't know. Fascinating. What does that mean? I feel like it means something. I'm not sure what. So I'm going to do this. And see what's up. Okay, sure. Why did they... I don't know, that was super weird. Another 4-1 though, not bad. With a different deck. 4-1 with Gruul and Slezina Auras tonight, so... A good day in the office, you know? We'll open that one chest for EOT Impulse. Let's see what we've got. Archive this and Sliver Legion. I remember when Sliver Legion was like worth actual infinity in uh, Future Sight because of casual players, but I don't think it's worth anything on MT Joe. I think it's probably worth a non zero amount IRL. How was Gruel? Uh, I can just show you what happened in the matches real quick. We lost to Bogles, which made me sort of think about Bogles. 
Then we beat Green, we beat Gruel Eldrazi Ramp, we beat Yorian Azorius, and we beat Lotus Field. Second week with Celestia Oros, I beat Lotus Field, Azorius Control, Green Devotion, Demir Control, and Yorian Azorius Control. So it was fine. I mean, yesterday I did worse. I went like 4 1, 3 2, but you know, it's kind of whatever. Um, but yeah, thanks everyone for being here. If you do want to support the stream, you know how. I'll probably, I might be back on Thursday. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to play on Thursday as well. But do want to appreciate everyone who is here. Um, probably going to raid someone real quick.